it's about to get very hot outside and and uh probably in a couple weeks or so we'll be back up in the high 90s and up towards the hundreds in tucson arizona and a lot of these plants they come from places where those type of temperatures or even 105 110 degrees uh, those types of temperatures that we see sometimes in our summer can cause a lot of these plants to die or to suffer immensely. So a solution which I like to apply to all of my plants, including my tropicals and different vegetables to prevent heat damage, as well as to help in winter with sun scald and to help with pest damage, would be this miracle product here, Surround WP. Now this stuff is derived of clay, is non-toxic when consumed, although when applied, we do like to wear a mask as a precaution to prevent inhalation of the fine particles, which can cause some lung damage. Um, is approved for organic use if applied correctly. So just to list some of the different types of pests, we have cutworms, we have pear slugs, we have apple suckers, we have caterpillars, we have moths, we have beetles, prevents maggots, prevents grasshoppers, prevents different types of fruit flies, prevents orange worms, stink bugs, prevents, says here, coddling moths. So basically, just about everything aphids thrips etc so i really like applying this stuff i find that it works well uh, combined with different types of pesticides or insecticides or even with different types of growth stimulants so anything which is water soluble you can pretty much commingle it although it does have some instructions with the product that explain which ways you can test to see if products uh, are compatible but in my experience most things which are water soluble will also work very well with this product so with that being explained i will show you guys how we go ahead and apply the product and what it looks like after we're done All right, so as you guys can see, I've just uh, gone over very quickly on this one plant and applied some of the sample product. You can see it kind of forms these different beads on the uh, surface flare over about a day or two. It will um, actually kind of form uh, more of a wider uh, hue overall on the entire leaves. You want to apply it both to the tops and the bottoms of the leaves, as well as any of the trunks which you're able to reach or might be visible to the sun. Now, a couple other tips. I like to leave a section typically unmarked so that I'm able to still have a pretty clear indication of the health of the plant to see the leaf color, to see if there are any watering issues, any nutrient issues. Um, on this one, I, I did spray the entire thing. I do like to go over it while applying a second time just quickly to make sure the whole surface is coated. Like over here on this fruiting plum tree, I would wait until all of these flowers are pollinated and you have little tiny plums before applying the product. So this peach would be another example. There are some flowers that haven't even opened yet. So in order to make sure that all of the pollinators are able to see it and get to it no problem and won't be harmed in any way, I will make sure to wait to apply the product until after all of those blooms have opened and pollinated. But for a guy like this one, like this guava, is too young, doesn't have any fruit yet, I might apply the product, although 
there are plants of course that don't really need it but again it's not just a preventative for sun damage potentially but also prevents pest damage and in my experience has worked quite well so all of these plants are in really good shape after just one application i made a couple of months ago which i then let mainly drift off but right here you guys can see for example why uh there is still some white covering this is because of that pr uh, prior layer of the surround wp which i applied and it's not an indication of any issue with the health of the plant and as previously mentioned it washes right off with water sometimes it takes multiple applications maybe one a day for two or three days to wash it off if you apply multiple layers it might take a few more washings i do find that it seems to wash off a little bit easier on fruit especially if you apply it when the fruit is small so i'm about to apply it to all of my trees including this mango here give it some added protection in the summer here these avocados will really appreciate it another one i probably won't put it on will be this uh this thai lime right here this kyfer lime because i don't want to go through the trouble of washing it all off of the leaves which is the only part of this tree which i use um for culinary purposes so i don't actually use the limes themselves but i do use the leaves and even though i did apply it previously i won't reapply it so that it's easy to clean but yeah stuff that might be kind of sensitive in the heat like this lemon tree like these avocados like this mango some other advice for specially sensitive plants guys i'd make sure you're giving them afternoon shade from about 10.30 on if you live in a desert environment like I do in Tucson. So just to show you guys what it looks like after we finished applying it, you can, some plants, if they have a less waxy surface, seem to be able to take it on a little bit easier. But for the most part, it covers everything pretty dang well even on just a single application which is all I've done here on most of these guys so in about a week or so I might reapply another layer and then the week following maybe another layer if it rains if there's heavy wind I might apply more again I would suggest you guys leave some type of a patch unaffected so you can Gauge the underlying health of your plant, see if there are any uh, differences in color, which might indicate a watering or nutrient issue of some sort. If for whatever reason you need to wash it off, like I find it does sometimes spill over onto the ground, I would recommend washing it with water immediately after applying before it dries, but even if it does dry, you can reapply it again, or excuse me, you can wash it off just about one or two times a day. And after about two or three uh, washings spread out a couple of days apart, it should pretty much completely come off. On fruit, it comes off even easier, I find. And uh, if necessary, use a little bit of soap. But if for whatever reason it doesn't rub off of your fruit or vegetables completely, it is not too much of an issue because, again, it is non-toxic. And the greatest issue with the product is the application and making sure you guys are wearing a mask to prevent the fine particles from entering into your body. It's derived of clay, which is natural, which is found in pretty much every single soil on the entire earth and will not cause harm to your plants. So yeah, when it's 100 degrees, I'm hoping this mango feels like it's 90 and it's just kind of chilled out. 
safe to apply to just about everything. Read the product directions for specifics for your plant, but I do find that about half of a pound per gallon seems to work pretty well. One to two to three coatings spread out about a week apart seems to work pretty well. Again, reapply if there's heavy wind, heavy rain damage. Otherwise, enjoy the product and note how well it works. My experience has been very, very positive with this product. I hope you guys enjoy our videos. We will continue to put out more content, trying to help you guys grow all sorts of different things in containers, in extreme conditions, and limited grow spaces. And not just to grow them, but to have production, to be able to get apples. We got these little guys here that will evolve over the summer to grow things that will make all of your neighbors say super cool stuff about you.